The AD-9 conspiracy entangled the ADDC's director, Keto, the same man who had unveiled it to the world. An unfinished drug that exacted human sacrifice. Yagami believed he had finally found definitive proof. But even that was swallowed by the darkness. All for the greater good of a drug that would save humanity. You look worse than I was expecting. I hear Kuroiwa paid you a visit. Yep. Just him and that baton he's got. Beat the shit out of us. He took Kido too. How'd things go with your stuff? We found Shono's lab, but the police are basically refusing to investigate it. Why? Chief Prosecutor Morita's defending 89. You for real? Whatever evidence was there is probably long gone by now. Yagami-san. Right. There's something else I need to tell you, too. What is it? This have something to do with Sugiura? Yeah, um... That's not actually his name. Huh? So you were Emi Terasawa's little brother, huh? Why'd you keep it a secret? At first, I wanted to make Yagami-san remember. Remember what? How he let my sister suffer. In my eyes, he was a scumbag who let a murderer walk. The murderer who then burned Emi to death. Damn, that's heavy. Go on. You don't have to hold back. Back then? I was just a shut-in fuck-up. My life was in shambles. Emmy was still there for me, though. When nobody else was. And then... Somebody murdered her. Someone as nice as Emmy. Dead. For no reason. But the world doesn't stop for that shit. It just keeps turning, and people go about their business. Over time, I started to hate what our whole society stood for. So, I'm guessing that's what led you to start that burglary ring? Pretty much. At the very least, I didn't want to keep living my life for other people. You know, when Emmy died, Yagami-san didn't apologize. Not to me, or to my parents. So that's when you guys first met, huh? Yep. We were totally different back then, though. Had glasses and long hair, so couldn't really see my face. That's why I didn't recognize you. Defending a murderer, you're just as guilty as he is. Those words cut deeper than you probably could have imagined. Even so, Okubo insisted he didn't do it. Since I was his lawyer, I couldn't apologize. That would essentially be admitting he was guilty. What about after the trial? I didn't apologize then, either. Instead, I ran away. And put it all behind me. Right. You didn't just walk away. You practically got this bar. At least Okubo was getting the death penalty. It didn't feel good, but I settled for that. Then why'd you start hanging around Tuck again? Because he found his way back to the courtroom to deal with all this mole business. He even got a Yakuza captain off the hook. It's not like I suddenly just became a lawyer again. 
sure seemed that way from my perspective. So, I wanted to see where your head was at. Find out if you'd forgotten what you did to Emmy. If you were gonna pretend like nothing happened, I'd make you remember. And I'd make you pay for it. And that's why you approached me. Yup. I wanted to know what Okubo was up to, too. Find out if he was as afraid of death as he should have been. If anyone was gonna go see him, it was you. But now, it's looking more and more likely Okubo was framed. And I never would have known if I hadn't teamed up with you. Ironic, huh? Three years later, the real killer's finally clear. And now it turns out... Shono... He's the one leading the charge to cure Alzheimer's! He gets to go down in history as a hero? For what? Stabbing my sister to death? Burning her body? Don't worry. Everyone will see him for who he really is once the truth gets out. You weren't there today. The whole fucking system is protecting him. He bent the truth, suppressed evidence right in front of me. What's the point of fighting that kind of battle, huh? It's bullshit! You saw it too, right, Yagami-san? Right? Look, Sugira. Ever since Emi-chan died, I've been running away from the truth. I was worried. Worried I wasn't gonna like what I found, that maybe I was responsible for her death. It was killing me. I couldn't bring myself to face it all. Talk. If you ask me, everyone has something they're trying to hide from themselves. But sometimes facing your fears is the only way forward. The real reason you came to me is because deep down, you wanted to know the truth. That sound about right? <laughs> if that's still true, we have our work cut out for us. We're gonna chase the truth as far as we can, even if it's in vain. Yeah, but all our paths are blocked. Who the hell cares? We'll blaze our own path then. Right, Talk? <laughs> yeah. You guys are out of your goddamn minds. That's Mafuyu. What's up, Mafuyu? I need to speak with you about Morita. Wait, you're still here in town? Yes. I'm waiting at Tender. Do you think you could come meet me here? I... I think I'm being followed. What? It felt like someone was watching me all the way to the bar. I don't believe I'm imagining it. More of those bums the Ministry of Health hired? Or maybe one of the chief prosecutor's men. All right, I'll be right over. Thank you. I'm coming with. Higashi, keep an eye on Sugiura while we're gone. Huh? Why do... <sighs> Fine. Let's roll, talk.
Thanks for coming. How did it look outside? Did you see anyone suspicious? Not particularly. Seemed fine to me. Mind if I sit? What happened to your face? What? This? It's nothing. You said you wanted to talk to me about Morita? Yes. Specifically about how he acted tonight. It's hard to imagine the Morita I know doing that. It's almost like... He's a different person. Almost like... He cared more about politics than the law. Not surprising. He's right in the middle of this 89 mess. Thing is... Morita is the reason I decided to become a prosecutor. When my mother was killed in a hit and run, he was there to give me courage, show me a way forward. I've heard. That said, as for why he has an interest in protecting 89, I might have an idea. Hmm? About ten years ago, something happened to his family. Perhaps that's what changed him. Made him look the other way on this. What happened? Uh, hold on. I'm not entirely sure my theory is correct. It wouldn't be fair if I misrepresented the facts. However, I just spoke to a former police detective who handled that case. I'm about to get the case file from him. Where? We're meeting at the children's park. But it felt like I was being followed, so... I didn't want to go alone. So, that's our job here? We're your bodyguards? Yes. At least, that was the plan. But seeing what already happened to you... You think a couple of scratches are gonna slow me down? We'll do it. Right, Doc? If you let us see the case file, what do you say to that? Of course. It's a deal then. We'll be your escorts. Oof, that's cold. Extorting the poor girl? Guess chivalry's dead, Mafia-chan. Ready? The detective is waiting for us. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Well, do you see anyone? Not yet. There. Guess you were right on the money, Mafia-chan. Looks like they want to fight, too. Yep. Those aren't let's chat over some coffee faces. So what, are they gonna follow us the whole way like that? What should we do? You back off a bit. We'll take care of them. Let's go, Kaito-san. You got this! I'm off of you! What happened? Thank you, Yagami-kun. Keep going! Hell yeah! What? No love for me, Mafia Chun? Hang in there too, Kaito san! Now we're talking! Alright! Mafia Chun's watching! So let's not screw this up! Hang in there, Yuck! Never 
This way! Is the place. He should already be here. You said he's an ex-detective, right? Yes. Let's hit it. Uzawa-san, yes? Yep. That's me. Huh? 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 You're the detective from before. Oh shit, Yagami. You used to be on the force? How'd you end up so scruffy? I gotta ask you the same thing. Y you two know each other? Why'd you bring these chatterheads along? Uh, well, uh, Yagami-kun, he's... He's sort of my boyfriend. What? Since when? It's not like that. Then why are you blushing? It's comedy hour over here. 
So, what do we have in the case? Ten years ago, Chief Prosecutor Moritas' older brother strangled their mom to death. But why? A caretaker murder. Their mother was over 70 at the time, afflicted with a severe case of Alzheimer's. And they were taking care of her. Yeah. It's hard to say what a dementia patient will do if you take your eye off them, even for a second. She apparently used to leave the stove on after she cooked, or wander out in the middle of the night. None of the homes had any openings for her either. Ultimately, Morita's brother took care of their mom by himself. Seems he put the burden entirely on his own back. He quit his job and moved in with their mother, all to ensure Morita was free to do his duty as chief prosecutor. He barely took breaks, barely slept, for seven whole years before the incident. All he got from his mother in return was abuse. Verbal, and sometimes physical. The hell'd she do that for? It's a side effect of dementia, though not all patients exhibit it. Some cases can be suppressed, but it doesn't always work out. At the time of the incident, Morita's brother was in the midst of a serious mental breakdown. I had to guess, he'd probably been about to break for months. And the result was him murdering his own mother. Whatever became of him after all that? Ah, uh, well, not long afterward, he tried to hang himself and failed. So they suspended his sentence until he was more stable. And where is he now? It says here he died a year later. By his own hand. Dude. After everything his brother did, Morita was removed from the spotlight for a while. But it seems that's all in the past now. Everyone recognizes him as an unquestionable leader on the Force. So then, Morita blames Alzheimer's for all the suffering his family faced. Most likely, yes. The tragedy could have been prevented if only 89 had existed at the time. And once it does, who knows how many situations just like it could be avoided. With a tragedy like that, no wonder he's defending it. He's sure as hell not in it for the cash. Not for reputation, either. Guy's just doing what he thinks needs to be done. I suppose I can understand that. Huh? You can? Hmm? Huh? You think that excuses everything that monster has done? He framed Ayabe, turned a blind eye to Emi-chan's murder, left Okubo-kun out in the cold. All because this fucking drug needs to get fast-tracked? How can you begin to think that's right? How? If Morita can decide what needs to be done, then so can we. I'm gonna protect every last person they've trampled. I'm gonna get revenge for Emi-chan. Interesting. <laughs> what is? Oh, <laughs> it's just uh, really obvious you used to be a lawyer. Used to? I've still got my badge. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, lay off the gambling, yeah? You lose more than you win. Yeah, whatever you say. Yagami-kun, I think it'd be best if you hold on to these files. Yota, make sure she gets home safe, will you?
Hey, since we're close, do you mind if we drop in on salary? Oh, sure. What's up? Oh, no reason. She just likes seeing the two of us together. Oh, uh, what now? Uh, whatever. I was gonna go fill her in on what happened tonight anyway. Why? Keto never would have ended up in Kamurocho if not for Saori. And her honey trap. A honey trap? You can't be serious. Huh? Yo, no, I, um... Uh... Yagami-san, I didn't realize you'd be stopping by. Awfully suspicious. Just what were you two up to in here? Um, not much. Guess we should go then. Hey, how did everything go with Keto? Hold on, I want to know what you two were up to first. Well, Hoshino-kun was just... Okay, 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 this is all just a big misunderstanding. Or... Maybe not, or maybe it is. Maybe you'll get further next time. Is it just me, or is Sari-san enjoying this? Oh, yeah. I've heard. It's horrible what happened to Morita's mother. So the prosecution is all working to protect AD-9? The chief prosecutor is, at the very least. This is all my fault. I'm the one who told Morita that Yagami-kun would be there. If I had only gone to Izumita instead... Don't think like that. There's no knowing who's on what side. We can't trust anyone except ourselves. But... Um, can I say something real quick? I'm not sure I'm the best person to be defending Ayabe. Not against an enemy this powerful. Well, what do you mean? Agreed. Hoshino-kun can't handle the pressure. It has to be you, Yagami-san. Oh, ha ha. Real funny. This isn't a joke. We're dead serious. Please, Yagami-san. We're going up against the people who murdered Emi-san. Do it for her. For Okubo-san. And for Shintani-sensei. It's time for you to show the world what you think is right. No more running. Yeah, I guess so. I'll let Genda Sensei and Ayabe san know right away. This is bound to make headlines. I can see it now. Disgraced lawyer Yagami Sensei makes his triumphant courtroom return. All right, do we really need the disgraced part? But, all right. If they both agree, I'll defend Ayabe. Guess I'll need to start digging up some more evidence. You walk Mafia to her taxi, okay? You walk Maf. Uh, about what you saw just now. You mean the hand-holding thing? Please don't tell Genda-sensei. I don't want things to be awkward. Shall we? Can you... Thank you for helping me tonight, Yagami-kun. Huh? Uh, one second. It's Izumita. Now that I think about it, he left a message earlier, too. Did you listen to it? Yes. He said he wanted to talk. It sounds like he's at Majore. Majore, huh? Guess he wanted coffee instead of booze. What should we do? You don't have to do anything. Go home where you're safe. Izumita might be on their side, too. But... I'll go instead. You? Really? 
I'll be fine. All right. Stay safe out there. Really, guys? Yagami, what are you doing here? Did you come alone? <sighs> yeah. Good. I sent Mafia you home. I could go for a chat and a coffee, though. Sorry, not interested. What did you have to tell Mafia you? It has nothing to do with you. Oh, then how about I guess? Uh huh? The reason you wanted to talk to her was. You were going to tell her to join forces with Morita. What? Am I wrong? I see what you're getting at. What happened with the chief prosecutor and that Ministry of Health bureaucrat? It wasn't normal. Not normal? That's a bit of an understatement. They want to protect 89 so bad, they ignored evidence of a murder under their noses. You're working with them too, aren't you? What are you implying? Chief Prosecutor Morita is part of a conspiracy to push 89 through, no matter the cost. Do you have proof of that? This. I got it from Mafuyu. It's a case file detailing a domestic murder within Morita's family. Sound familiar? This is the first time hearing of it. I'll give it to you if you have the strength to fight. Excuse me? What happens if you find out I'm telling the truth? How far will you go, Izumira? Would you be willing to bring your own boss to justice? Of course. Ask a hundred prosecutors and they'd answer the same way. Huh. <laughs> Maybe you're not as bad as I thought. This incident is what gave Morita motivation to support 89. That's how I see it, at least. This is tragic. Yeah. His sick mom strangled to death by his own brother. <sighs> Morita's doing what he thinks is right in all this. That's why he suppressed evidence earlier. Back at Shono's lab, I mean. <laughs> the mole killed countless people there. It's only natural there'd be traces left behind. Our case would be practically bulletproof if we found them. It's just, I... I can't believe you would do this. 
The way he acted at the lab, we have to believe he's wrapped up in this. Wouldn't you agree? <clears throat> Izumira. I... I guess I can't deny that. Right? But if he really is trying to protect 89... How do we stop him? What can we even do? Well... I was planning to use Aive's trial to bring all the dark truths about 89 out into the light. That's why I chased Hamura down. Why I needed to find Shono's lab. But Ichinose and Morita crushed those leads before they really even took off. And you don't have the ammo to stop them. <sighs> it hurts to hear the truth laid out like that. But it is a relief knowing you're not on their side, believe it or not. <laughs> not sure this is the time to be relieved. <sighs> yeah, I know. Hey. Hmm? I was wondering. You think we could get Ichinose to testify? Get him called to the stand? Under what pretense? I don't know. Maybe to explain 89? It could be anything, really. He can't say no if the prosecution requests it, right? Then, what do we do once we have him there? We corner him eloquently. Shower him with questions until he gives up. Me and you both. Oh, wait, that's your big plan? Hey, desperate times call for desperate measures. We don't have a chance of winning if we're not willing to take some risks. Okay, I'm in. I'll let you know once I've made the arrangements. <sighs> what a day. Stay down. So basically, it's up to Izumira whether or not Ichinose shows at the trial. The question now is, how do we press Ichinose once he's there? Before we get too far, Genda-sensei and Ayabe are both on board with Yagami-san representing the defense. The lousiest lawyer ever, back in the court. <laughs> Looks like it. Now, let's talk about our next steps. First on the agenda, though. <laughs> what do we call Sugiura now? That's your next step? It was, uh, Terasawa, yeah? I'm fine with Sugiura. Why change it up now? Fair enough. Um, speaking of next steps... 
I'd like to try putting some pressure on Keto again. Maybe we could use the video Sari-san helped us get to force him into testifying for us. Good plan. Anyone else? This doesn't have anything to do with the case, but some shit's going down in the Matsugane family. We can talk about it right after this, Yagami. Roger that. What's up? Just so you know, I'm gonna go talk to Okubo soon. He still thinks Emi-chan's family hates him for what happened. I need him to know that's not true. If that's okay with you. Sure, I'm fine with it. You said something's going down with the Matsugane family? Yep, it's all pretty much gone to shit. After the Patriarch died, everyone just kind of went their separate ways. Especially the younger guys. Is anyone trying to hold the family together? Guy named Kengo, yeah. You beat the stuffing out of him once or twice, remember? He was one of Captain Hamura's golden boys. There's kind of something up with him, though. What? You'll see when we get there. Want to tag along? Well, you want to check on the family with me? Sure. I'd like to talk to Kido if possible. He'd make a valuable witness in Ayabe's trial. We've got some dirt on him, too. Yeah, thanks to Saori-san's little adventure. He won't be able to turn us away once we remind him of that. You want to go see Okubo, Yagami-san? Yeah. I wish you could come too, but civilians can't get that kind of clearance. It's okay. It is how it is. Sorry for asking you to do this, Yagami. The family's a real mess right now. Sure you don't want to bring Kaito-san along? He got expelled, remember? They wouldn't even let him through the door. Right. Anyway, let's go. Doubt I can stop them all on my own. Stop them? What do you mean? Just come on. Give up, do you?
Yo, Kengo. Higashi Anaki. Finally went and brought me Yagami-san, huh? Huh? Easy. It's okay. Need something from me? Our patriarch is dead. And I hear you've got this scoop on who did it. You know who the mole is. And I want you to tell us. So you want revenge? We don't just want it. We need to get it. All part of being a Yakuza. You're gonna massacre the son of a bitch! You can't handle it. The fuck you say to me?! I've told them that already. But they won't listen. So what do you want me to do? I mean, you're a lawyer, yeah? Isn't persuasion your job? You can't worm your way out of this. Tell us who the mole is! Or... Do you need a little encouragement? Kengo! I'm rebuilding this family one way or another. Now stand the fuck down, Aniki! You want to know that bad? I'll tell you. Huh? But <laughs> who is he? <sighs> Kuroiwa, from the Tokyo PD, organized crime. <laughs> Bastard's a cop. <sighs> Doesn't end with him though. Kuroiwa's just a tool for the people really behind all this. They're not afraid of some small-time Yakuza thugs. <laughs> oh, shut up. That's why I'm gonna beat them myself, in court. <laughs> you... You seriously think you can do that? <laughs> Matsugane-san was like a father to me for the last 20 years. I knew him longer than you guys. I want revenge as bad as you. Maybe more. Can you let me handle this one? <laughs> I owe you one, Yagami. Don't mention it. 
Later. Killing Kuroiwa wouldn't accomplish shit. He's just the tip of this whole fucked up iceberg. Let Yagami do this. You might even want to consider helping him. Yo. Sorry, Agashi pulled you into that. <laughs> Were you spying on me? Not too hard when you've got a drone. <laughs> I guess not, no. Anyways, with Matsugane-san gone, the family's been drifting in the wind like a kite without a string. Looks like you brought him back down to Earth, though. Thanks, man. Uh, you hit your head or something? Yeah, yeah, make your jokes. Just don't say I never said it. Right. Almost there. Nice. Almost there. Nice. That'll do it. You asked for it.
was really scared. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, hi. Yeah. You ready to see Oka? Yeah, it's time to clear the air. Yagami-san, can you give Okubo a message for me? Sure, what's up? Once he gets out, I want to go visit Emmy's grave with him. <laughs> That's a pretty big deal. There's a lot we have to take care of before we can even get to that, though. Yeah. Otherwise Okubo will get executed and never have his name cleared. We'll fix it, don't worry. I hope you're right. We can't let him die in there. Agreed. I'll give him the message. I don't believe this. You're serious? Yeah. He told us his name was Sugiura at first. Fumiakun. You know, I only met him once before Emmy's death. 
Both of us were a little shy, though, so we didn't really talk. I can still remember how he glared at me during the trial. And how I couldn't even look him in the eye. By the way, he told me to tell you something. Huh? He said he wanted... He wants to visit Emmy's grave with you. I see. He really wants to do that? With me? Yeah. I'd like to take him up on that. Ayabe's trial is coming up. We're gonna snare the guy behind 89. A man from the Ministry of Health by the name of Ichinose. Can you do it, though? For real? Yeah. The prosecutor's on my side, too. Ichinose won't stand a chance. I'll tell them you're innocent, too. I gave up on that a long time ago. I thought no one would hear me. No matter how loud I screamed. I thought I'd die branded a murderer. But if Fumiya-kun understands, Maybe there's still a chance. If the guy who hated me most forgives me, maybe everyone else will too. I'll get you out of here. I promise. Yagami-san, are you ready to go to the ADDC? Sure. We'll need to take a taxi to the ADDC, right? guys. I knew it would all work out. What do you mean? Seeing Kido without an appointment. That video has some serious power. You can thank Sari-san for that. Afternoon. Sorry to barge in. We know you're busy. Take a seat. <sighs> well, let's get straight to the point. We'd like to call you to the stand as a witness in Ayabe's trial. That's not possible. Would this change your mind? You've made me a very happy man today. But we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. <laughs> Do what you will. Wait, really? Ichinose is unstoppable, and my testimony won't change that. 
You're up against everyone who stands to gain from 89, including patients who it would save, and their families. You can't win. Not how things stand, no. But that's exactly why we need your testimony. I have no obligation to help you. If you truly want to release the video, release it. You are aware of the consequences that would have, right? I'll become the laughing stock of the scientific world. My career will be over. But I'd rather that than make an enemy of Ichinose. I'm not ready to die just yet. Are you really that scared of him? Of course. Losing my jaw is a much more appealing proposal than losing my life. Nobody's dying if we can help it. We can protect you. Don't you understand? No matter what I say, you can't win this trial. But if I open my mouth, I'll have to live the rest of my life in fear. Until the day they finally finish the job. Did you talk to Ichinose after Kuroiwa rescued you from the arcade? I have nothing to say about that. Now leave me alone. How can we change your mind? You're in the middle of this whole 89 mess. But you never actually killed anyone yourself. You might be able to argue for a lighter sentence. Absolutely not. You can't convince me to sign my own death warrant. Damn it, we're not getting anywhere. You shouldn't fight a battle you can't win. I would never have gotten where I am today without that bit of advice. So you don't think we can beat him? <laughs> Do you even have a shred of evidence? Oh, well, I suppose you did. But Ichinose-san took it right out of your hands. Can't you see how weak you are compared to him? You don't have a chance in hell of winning this case! Well, you're right. <laughs> For now, I guess. It's easy to tell how the case will go. We just don't have quite enough evidence yet. There's no way we'll take down Ichinose with what we've got at the moment. I appreciate the advice. Not yet, Yagami-san. He's trying to take us for fools. I can make him talk for sure. All we have to do is push the video to- We'd be wasting our time. You can't say that if you don't try. Come on, Yagami-san. I said we're not doing it. Please, just, just give it a shot. If the video doesn't work, then we'll find some other way to- There's no point. No point? That's enough of the tough detective act. You can't run. Hoshino! <sighs> I never said anything about running away, okay? But... I just... I don't want to lose. I thought I could help you. <laughs> Having a falling out, are we? Shut up! Once I have my proof, I'll be back. <laughs> and when you do, I will gladly cooperate. Not that I'm expecting much. Welcome back, Yagami-san. Hey, man. How's the prep going for Ayabe's trial? Not bad. I've gone everywhere I wanted to go, at least. So, you ready to do this, then? There's no going back after this. 
Well, when you put it like that... So, you ready to get this rolling? Yeah, I'm good to go. Gotcha. By the way, uh, I just got a call from Hoshino-kun. Sounded gloomy as hell. Apparently, he wants you to talk to Genda-sensei over at the office when you get a minute. Oh? He didn't say what about, though. Anyway, I'm just the messenger. Catch you later. Stay down. Yo. Hmm? You get called in too? Yep. Just walked in. Is Hoshino-kun not back yet? Not yet, no. Is something the matter? No, not really. Over here, Yagami. Something you wanted to discuss, Genda-sensei? No, not me. Him. Prosecutor Izumira. They've got men monitoring every nook and cranny of your agency. Figured it'd be safer to talk here. More bad news? Is that how you treat a guest? And no, it's good news. Guess it can't be all bad. Ichinose will testify at the trial. So, you convinced him, huh? Run into any trouble? No, it went fairly smoothly. So, you want me to explain 89? Yes, at the upcoming trial. And by that, you mean the one for the murdered lawyer? That's right. Before his death, that lawyer made a phone call to Dr. Shono. Of course, we have no reason to believe that call had anything to do with the killing. Dr. Shono in 89? Involved in a murder? It's quite far-fetched, if you ask me. A preposterous notion. <laughs> Indeed. However, that doesn't change the fact that the call was made. And so, we'll need to explain in court just why it can't be related. Hmm. Ah. Uh, don't worry. You won't need to say a word about the call itself. Just explain the situation. 89 is a drug of global importance, and Dr. Shono and his team have put immense effort into its development. Once you've explained, I'm sure it'll clear the air. Yes, I see. I'm not sure I can portray it accurately, though. I'm not a scientist, after all. If you would be more comfortable, we could always call Dr. Shono to the stand. But his language may in fact be too complicated. I'm not sure our jurors would understand. If possible, I'd prefer it were you up there, Ichinose-san. You have a point. It would be foolish to take up Dr. Shono's time with such an insignificant matter. Very well, I'll do it. Contact the Ministry of Health when the trial date is decided. Thank you very much, sir. If you'll excuse me, I have another meeting to get to. Nice going. You made it sound like if Ichinose didn't testify, Shona would. It worked. Ichinose didn't want to risk Shono getting in there and slipping up. Can't trust anyone to do it but himself. 
Good work, Izumira. Turns out you can be pretty devious when you want to be. Devious? Really? I'm kidding. Really, I can't thank you enough. We'll have Ichinose out in the open thanks to you. All we have to do now is find a way to corner him. What about Hamura from the Matsugane family? Can we ask him to testify? Mm, he's still on the run. Guy couldn't even be bothered to come to his patriarch's funeral. Of course not. How could he after what he did? Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we just grab Kuroiwa and get him to confess to being the mole? You do remember the beating he gave you last time, right? I let my guard down, that's all. Cut it out, you two. Come on, guys. We've got Ichinose right where we want him. We just need to figure out what to do next. You're not gonna win empty-handed, you know. It's Mafuyu. What's up? Ayabe's casino is getting raided by the police. Lamont? Now? Yeah. They just started. Morita is setting the wheels in motion. They've already arrested most of the employees. I get it. It's a character assassination. A crooked cop running an illegal casino. No surprise if he commits a murder, too. The chief prosecutor is hitting us where it hurts. Right. Just wanted to give you a heads up. So, how's it looking, Yagami-kun? Do you think you can win? I'll do the best I can. Good news is, I have a lot of help. Thanks for the call, Mafuyu. Of course. See ya. Morita's here in Kamurocho, blowing the lid off Ayabe's casino. In that case, I'd better get going. He's not gonna come here. Well, better safe than sorry. Huh. If they're raiding the casino, Kuroi was probably there too. What do you want to do, Tuck? The chief prosecutor's made his move. Probably wouldn't hurt to stop by and say hello. We know all about him now. You sure this is a good idea? He's not the kind of guy you mess around with. Don't worry. We just want to check in. Let's hit it. I'm Ayabe's lawyer. Let me through. Sorry, no lawyers allowed yet. Well done, but let him pass. I'll vouch for him personally. Chief Prosecutor? Thanks. Were you aware there was an underground casino hidden down here, Yagami-san? Wow, I had no idea. <laughs> Our friend Ayabe was really something, wasn't he? Who would have thought he'd take bribes from an illicit underground casino? Not to mention selling confidential police intel to the criminal underbelly of this town. Shintane-sensei surely stumbled upon Ayabe's secret. And so Ayabe killed him to make sure the truth stayed hidden. Quickly, with a police-issued handgun. I see. That's the story the prosecution is telling, huh? We can speak further once we get inside.
I've learned a lot about you, Chief Prosecutor. About the tragedy in your family ten years ago. Then someone has betrayed me? Someone you betrayed. Someone who trusted you for years. I have to say, it was strange seeing how you behaved in Shono's lab. A public prosecutor, the so-called Defenders of Justice, chose to protect 89 over the sanctity of the law. I think it's time you drop the act. My mother, she was afflicted with early onset Alzheimer's. The disease progressed quickly. Not long after she started showing symptoms, she couldn't even recognize my face. Whenever I went to visit her, I was greeted with, nice to meet you, as if she didn't know who I was. Occasionally she'd yell at me, accuse me of being a thief or a murderer. Watching my mother's mind deteriorate, well, it nearly broke me. And yet my brother continued caring for her. He was there when I couldn't be, all by himself. When we were young, he and I had both dreamt of becoming lawyers. He devoted himself to his studies, far better than I ever did. Practically worked himself to the bone. Yet, ultimately, he never managed to pass the bar. I can only imagine how he felt when I passed on my first attempt. And yet, he was happy for me, almost as if my success was his. He was truly a good man. Please, go on. When we learned that my mother had Alzheimer's, my brother was devastated by the news. He took it hard. I, on the other hand, was filled with internal conflict. I was torn between caring for my ailing mother and continuing my burgeoning career as a lawyer. But my brother could sense how I felt. And then he said to me, Don't worry. Leave mom to me. Your success is all that matters. As long as you make it, my dream comes true too. And so, he continued caring for our mother for seven long years. 24 hours a day, a woman who couldn't even recognize him as her own son. Whereas I ran further and further away. But somewhere, deep down in my heart, I knew it couldn't continue that way. That someday, he would break. And the regret you feel, that failure, is what led you to 89. When was it? After Shintani Sensei's murder. Not long after, Vice Minister Ichinose summoned me personally to fill me in on the details. He did? But why? Ichinose-san predicted that the prosecutor's office would discover the dark truth about 89 before long. And upon looking into some family histories, he discovered what happened to my mother. When he realized the extent of it, he knew I would be sympathetic to their cause. His proposal was quite clear. 89 was a groundbreaking new drug, meant to save countless suffering patients and families. But if it was to see the light of day, I would have to look the other way for a while. Prosecutor Morita, have you heard this saying before? Hmm? Fire tempers iron, and temptation steals the just. If someone told you they knew how to make mankind immortal at the sacrifice of a few, you would have looked the other way no matter how many people had to die. I do feel guilt. I can't deny that. That's the only reason I'm still here. Shono has killed people to cover this up. Emi Terasawa died for it. What about her? Did she deserve that? 
Meanwhile, Shinpei Okubo was falsely convicted and sentenced to death. He wakes up every day not knowing if it's his last. What did he do to deserve that? Your guilt is nothing more than an act. Do you even realize what it is you're doing? That's enough. How do you think your brother would feel if he saw what you were doing now? Huh? Tell me, Morita! Shut up! Just... Shut up! If you want me to shut up, you're gonna have to kill me. Morita... Okobo-kun and Ayabe are depending on me. Emi Terasawa deserves justice, too. And I'm not stopping until I get it! Hey, Tak. Kuroi was here. I believe that's enough, Morita-san. Long time no see. Seems you're already back in action. <laughs> Guess I went too easy. You little... So, another two versus one fight? Is Yagami joining us? What are you doing here? I suggest you turn a blind eye to this. You're good at that, aren't you? Kaito-san! Think you could stay out of this? Like hell I will! You already had your turn. Kuroiwa killed Matsugane-san. And well, it's about time I pay him back for what he did. <sighs> Touching words, Yagami-san. But now is the time for action. And don't worry. I won't arrest you for obstruction on this. Don't talk to me about arrests. You're not even a cop. You're a goddamn assassin!
down. How would you even cover this up? There are limits to how much protection I can offer you. You have no reason to be here. Right there, son. Let's go. Those guys are Matsugane family, aren't they? <laughs> Damn right. They're probably worried about you or something. Afraid the 89 boys would come try to erase you, you know? What? Hey! There he is! Come on. We're out of here. Hoshino-kun. Yagami-san. When I heard you were here with Morita and Kuroiwa, I, um... I get it. You're the one who called Higashi over, aren't you? That's right. If I hadn't, who knows what dirty tricks they would have used. I couldn't take that risk. <laughs> I appreciate that, Hoshino. And... and... I'm really sorry for what happened in Kido's office. I was out of line. You deserve trust. And I didn't give it. Yagami-san, I messed up. What I did was unacceptable. Threatening a witness is just... It's not how I want to go about winning this case, Yagami-san. Got one thing to say, Hoshino. What? Iron burns temptation, while the just are often tested by fire. Huh?
Wait. Get back here! Stop. What's going on? What was that? He's got a black raincoat. Who are you? Tori wrote this, huh? Yep. Said he tried to get it out just in time for today's trial. Illegal human experiments discovered in Kamarucho. Dementia drug AD9, the focus. These pictures. I took them when we broke into Shono's lab. <laughs> nice work. Guess it's almost time. Time. Give him hell in there. I will. Matsugani-san deserves justice. Yeesh. Don't think I'm ever gonna get used to seeing you in a suit. <laughs> That's all you have to say to me? This is kind of a big deal, remember? Are they gonna set Okubo free if you win this trial? It's not guaranteed. But if not today, I'll make it happen eventually. Even if it costs me my life. Good luck today, Yagami-san. I'll be taking notes. I don't know. This trial might not be the most textbook case. <laughs> That's exactly why it'll be an educational experience. Defendant, please state your name and date of birth for the record. Kazuya Ayabe, born on July 2nd, 1983. And where are you currently residing? This is the first trial for the murder of Masamichi Shintani. Defendant, a crooked cop by the name of Kazuya Ayabe. The bullet found in Shintani's body bore the rifling marks from Ayabe's gun. That's the most significant piece of evidence they have against him. But that was all a cover-up perpetrated by the mole, Kuroiwa. Ayabe is innocent. In other words, this trial is little more than a farce. At least, until this very moment. 
The prosecution moves to call a witness to the stand. Someone who can deny this case's link to the ADDC. The Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health, Kaoru Ichinose. The ADDC bears most of the responsibilities carried out by the Medical Institute. Most notably, the development of AD9, which was announced to the world last year. Director Kido has done a fine job overseeing its evolution into a matter of national import. Can you tell the court what exactly AD9 is? It's a revolutionary drug meant to be a complete cure for Alzheimer's disease. Given how pressing the drastic increase in dementia patients is, we've placed great faith and hope into AD9. Thank you. I have no further questions. Members of the jury, despite the defense's claims that the ADDC is somehow related to this case, the prosecution holds that it is an absurdity to link such a reputable institution to the horrible murder that took place not long ago. That is all. You may begin the cross-examination, counsel. You're the vice minister of the Ministry of Health, correct? Pretty high rank. That is what the title implies, yes. You must have really stood out to attain that position. Maybe you did something extra special that got you noticed? I'm not sure how this is relevant to the case at hand. Oh, come now. Why not indulge him? What? Think back to 2002, the year the Medical Institute was founded. I hear you spearheaded that whole operation. As a result, many new organizations came into being, the ADDC included. Naturally, many Ministry of Health officials welcomed this move because... You gave hope to a nation of aspiring doctors and researchers. It's truly incredible how you shot up the ranks. Hmm, you have a point there, but... What are you getting at? Huh? Um, this is no time to be stroking his ego. <clears throat> However, the good times didn't last forever. In the months and years after its founding, people slowly caught on to the Medical Institute's total lack of output. And with the country in a recession, they started zeroing in on the Institute's funding. The vast amounts of money being poured into supporting it seemed like nothing more than a waste. Before long, closing the Institute outright didn't seem out of the question. Plans were even set in motion to redevelop the land once it was gone. Rumor had it that Minister Kasumi had actually approved those plans internally. Hmm. Are all your arguments going to be based on hearsay? Speaking of hearsay, Kamurocho's been buzzing with talk of this murderer who gouges people's eyes out. That killer is an assassin I've termed the Mole. But the truth of it is, those murders are the result of human experiments for 89 carried out in a secret lab in the heart of the city. This is all purely gossip. Members of the jury, 89's development is about to enter the clinical trial phase. However, ADDC researchers have already carried out clinical trials behind closed doors. Several people have died as a result. What? Of course, it tried to keep that a secret, but it eventually found its way out. And I have the evidence to prove it. Take a look at this. <sighs> the 
The victim in this case, Shintani-sensei, was inching ever closer to the truth. That's why he called the ADDC. Isn't that right, Ichinose-san? Please elaborate to the jury what exactly you mean by that. Not long before his death, Shintane-sensei was told a secret by Captain Hamura of the Matsugane family. A secret that led him right to the ADDC. This secret was that someone from the ADDC was connected to the serial murders taking place in Kamurocho. And so, Shintani-sensei called the center and asked specifically for a researcher named Shono, the man spearheading the 89 human experiments. Enough of this nonsense! Human experimentation! Don't be ridiculous! What kind of trial is being run here? How can he say whatever he wants without a single piece of evidence? Why doesn't the prosecution stop him? Sorry. <laughs> I was enjoying hearing what he had to say. Have you lost your mind? Ichinose-san, I'm not finished with my line of questioning. Excuse me? Actually, it's more of a confirmation than a question. No. <sighs> Do you know who Shinpei Okubo is? Yes. He's the murderer you set free three years ago. I set him free, yes. But he's not a murderer. The one who actually killed Wakusan and Emi Terasawa was the same Shono I mentioned earlier. This garbage again? Don't act like you don't already know all of this. You're just not coming clean. Even though Okubo-kun's sitting on death row, waiting for the day they decide it's his turn. Enough! I was only asked here to explain to the jury about AD-9 and the ADDC. How dare you treat me like this! You and Shono hired the Mole to murder for you! That was the only way you'd have patience for your underground human experiments. And all to protect the interests of AD-9. You can't make these claims without proof! Show me your evidence! If you say so. What? Just the other day, someone reached out to me over in Kamurocho. They wanted to entrust me with a crucial piece of information. Hmm? Who are you? <sighs> what the... Captain Hamura? The hell are you doing here? Sorry sight, wasn't it? Huh? Matsugane's funeral. They had to go and use HQ's gigantic hall. Made it look like barely anyone even bothered to show up. Wish I could have gone and lit some incense. But if I did, Kuroiwa would have taken me out. Yeah? And what are you doing here? Talk, you found Shono's lab, right? Good job. Those bastards never wanted to tell me where it was. Didn't think you could do it. Maybe. But Ichinose is covering the whole damn thing up. <laughs> Out of options, huh? I thought giving up wasn't your style. Here's the deal. I got something for you. What? Gotta settle accounts. What accounts? Never mind. But holding on to this does nothing for me. So, I want to help you out here, just this once. For the boss, give him justice. 
If there was any justice, I'd have gotten shot. But the boss paid the price instead. Fucked up, yeah? None of this was his fault. I already lost my chance. You, on the other hand, still may have one. Hamara. This is it. You're the boss's only shot now. Put an end to this. Once and for all. I think you'll like what you find on here. This is decisive evidence. It'll nail Ichinose. Your Honor, I offer the data I received into evidence. Take a listen to this. Did you tell someone about Shono? That lawyer, Shintani. Word has it, he just called the ADDC. Well, uh, yeah, I might have said something, but it's fine. Shintani will keep quiet if I tell him to. How can you be so naive? This is unacceptable. You must deal with this, Hamura-san, immediately. Do what needs to be done. Have Kuroiwa-san handle the dirty details. It'll cost you another hundred mil. This mistake was yours and yours alone. Don't anger me further. This Kuroiwa-san is a Kamuro PD detective. But when he's not out on his beat, he works as the mole. An assassin for hire. In this call, you used Hamura to order Kuroiwa to murder Shintani Sensei. Hmm. <laughs> you should have known better, Ichinose san. I imagine you must have been pretty panicked to use such an insecure method. Audio means nothing. Forging it is a simple task. You're framing me. So, you think that's not enough? That's right. Then what if I had a material witness who could attest to its validity? I'd say, bring them. Perfect. Just a minute. Not who you expected? <clears throat> Witness, who is speaking in this recording? I'm one of them. The other is Vice Minister Ichinose here. Without a doubt. <sighs> yes. Order in the court. Mizumida, where is the chief prosecutor? Is he aware of this farce? About that, sir. The Chief Prosecutor won't be joining us in court today. Or ever again. What? It turns out he's been abetting crimes for some time now. And so... We're charging him with abuse of power. Kido's up next. Right after my testimony. What? The doctor sides with whoever he thinks will win. And look at that. Guess he thinks you're on the losing side. Listen here. You pushed countless people down on your way to the top. Now it's your turn to fall, Ichinose. <clears throat> Kaito-san! Already going! What the hell was that about? Where's he going? Hoshinoku, it's all on you now. What? You've always wanted to handle a case on your own, right? Huh? Sorry to spring this on you, 
but good luck. Please, don't go! I know you can do it, Hoshino-kun. It's time you graduate from the sidekick role, you know? But... Are you ready to proceed? Um... <laughs> the defense is ready, Your Honor. Kaito-san! Got this asshole handing out orders over the phone. Orders? What did he say? He told his boys to eliminate the mole. They'd eliminate him? Wait. They're gonna kill Kuroiwa. Guess in the end, he's just a tool for them to, you know, dispose of. But we're done for if we let that happen. Yeah. He's gotta be over in Kamurocho. Come on, Sugiro's pulling the car around now. Oh, damn it. It's Yagami. I'm almost back in the city. Any idea where Kuroiwa is? Not yet. We're having trouble getting in touch with him. Oh, and... I'm not sure if this is related, but there's been a shooting in Theater Square. What? I wonder if Kuroiwa is involved somehow. Stop! Come on! He's over here! These guys don't seem like regular thugs. Guess these are ministry boys, huh? If they get in your way, don't hesitate to make them pay for it. Now don't stop till you get to Theater Square! I've been waiting for this. You deaf! He said stop!
Gosh, stop coming on us! Uh, I meant at us! Dude, that's gross. Anarchy. Come on, that ain't what I meant! Keep your head in the game, Kaito-san. Now let's go! <laughs> <laughs> you want to bet this is Karoi was doing? Yeah, he did this. Killed them before they could kill him. Then, where'd the bastard run off to? You can't just... Let's all just play nice, okay? Tell me, where did Kuroiwa go? <sighs> that bastard. He's on his way to the ADDC. What? <sighs> Probably gonna kill Shono. Revenge for getting targeted. He's gonna destroy AD9. <sighs> and ruin every last person. Who supported it? <laughs> so all the assholes are gonna take each other out, huh? Not bad. No. If Shono dies, it's done. The whole case will end up going cold. And then we'll never be able to clear Okubo's name. Huh? <laughs> so let's go. Hey, Mafuyu. Can you send some officers to the ADDC? Shono's in danger. Get him somewhere safe. Man, this shit's a pain in the ass. Yeah. And keep an eye out for Kuroiwa. He's getting desperate. Asshole already here? What's going on? Where's Kuroiwa? Uh, uh, please, stop! It's okay, I'm a lawyer. Is Dr. Shono out of danger? Uh, we're not really sure of the situation ourselves. Didn't somebody tell you what's going on here? We've got orders coming in from all sides. I, I, I don't even know who's in charge here!
Kuroiwa! You're Yagami, aren't you? Out of my way. Not so fast. We need to check your possessions. Lift your arms up, now! And why's that, officer? To protect Dr. Shono from thugs like you. Now do it! Kuroi was the one going for Shono. You can't let him get away with this! Why won't you listen to us? Kuroi was the one you want! He's got a gun! We're done here! Kaito-san, Kuroi was heading for the research wake. We can't let him reach Shono's lab. <clears throat> now let's go! <laughs> All right. If you say so! <laughs> Corner him! Looks like we're all getting arrested today, huh? Yagami-san, I'll see you in court! <laughs> Kuroiwa! Come on, Tuck. We'll deal with him later. Looks like there's only one way out of this, guys. Let's go! to us. You go. Just get a move on already. Sugi or a two. Talk. Give that son of a bitch what for. So you want to fight, huh? I don't have time for this bullshit!
waste. Nothing he won't do. Damn it! The door's not opening! It's locked! Locked? Hmm. When I was here with Emichan. That's the research wing, where they develop all our new drugs. You can't get in without a gold key card, though. We need a gold key card. Let's find one. Security system activated. Three minutes to full lockdown. Sorry, buddy. I need to borrow this for a bit. I found one. We can get through the gate. Look! On the Skyway! The is murdering them! We gotta put an end to this. Karoiwa! Okay, man? We're gonna need another way in. What about the underground parking lot? The same way we got in before. Good idea, Yagami-san. That'll get us into the hospital. We can get to the research wing from there. Especially now that we have the key card. That might work. Then we've gotta try. We can't let Kuroiwa get away with this. Damn right. Trying the short straw, huh? Don't give me your snark, punk. You're done for!
I don't know how long I can keep doing this. But we can't stop. Not now. Yagami-san, what's wrong? <sighs> Just... a little dizzy. No surprise there. Are you okay, Yagami-san? You're, uh... You're kind of bleeding a lot. Don't know. I'm not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel just yet, though. <laughs> Maybe you're better than you look. Come on, let's go. Is there a body in here? This can't be happening. Is this some kind of sick joke? Who would do something like this? The cops will definitely think I did it. Nobody's gonna believe me. You're never gonna last if you keep taking cases like this. Criminal suits are a constant test of your conviction, your sense of justice. They don't even pay that well. Look, just chill out, okay? Take it from me, I've been around the block way longer than you have. Good, yeah? This guy will take us to the research room.
Kuo-san is the one who'll suffer for it? If he's really not guilty, he won't have to. I'll win. But to be perfectly honest, this is my first criminal case. What? Civil cases have been a mixed bag for me, too. I've actually lost more than I've won. Is that so? Apparently, a smart lawyer would never even consider an innocent plea in this case. Guess it's a good thing that I'm not so smart then, because I honestly believe I can win. Please, Yagami-san. You need to help Okubukun. And my brother, too. <laughs> He's stubborn, but he means well. Yagami-san. Just now, I... I heard Emmy talking to me. It felt too real to just be my imagination. Did you notice anything? I can tell you all about it later. We've got work to do. Huh? It's time we stop Kuroiwa once and for all. Right. Huh. Whatever that fog over you was, looks like it's cleared. Use the keycard. You know, the gold one. where Shono is, right? If he hasn't been evacuated. His laboratory is just down this hallway. Meaning, Kuroi was waiting for us. Probably. Yagami-san! Shono! Kuroiwa. You just can't help but get in my way. Huh, Yagami? Put the gun down. Getting revenge isn't gonna do you any good. You should recognize it's all over by now. Revenge? <laughs> That's not what I'm here for. This rat comes with me. What? <laughs> Drop it! Make sure you get some help. And what about you? Me and Kuroi were gonna settle this once and for all. <laughs> That's fine. Don't try and rush, just... hit him once for me. Yakami-san. I will. We're here to rescue you, Shono. Not that I want to. Take care of him, okay? Yes. 
I can do that. Give it up. You're finished, Kuroiwa. You're wrong. This isn't the end! What do you mean? I have 89! As long as it exists, I will never surrender. Explain yourself. You told me that you were gonna keep Shono alive. Yeah. Shono and I... We're going to finish 89 together. I assure you, he wants the same thing. That's how we'll be saved. Both of us. You really so sure you can accomplish that? Yeah, I'm sure of it! I'll show you. <laughs> Just you wait. We're going to finish. No matter how many test subjects it takes us to complete it. As long as we complete the cure, Shono and I will be praised as heroes. You're insane. <laughs> in that case, you can be our first subject in a long while. And when you die, which of course you will, I'll gouge out your eyes!
Who went and made a new friend? They, uh, agreed not to put us behind bars, at least for now. But we're gonna need a lawyer, though.
Shono. Don't move! Drop the knife! Just telling him to stop's not gonna do shit. Shono! for them anymore. Huh? What's that? This? It's a dose of AD9. You see, I finally did it. What are you doing? AD-9 is done now. Everything I have has gone into this one syringe. There's no mistaking it this time. Here's the proof. I'm going to show you once and for all. I'll prove that my miracle drug is a reality! How many people has your miracle killed? People. People? But it'll save millions, maybe tens of millions across the world. That's why you thought it was okay to murder an innocent woman? Huh? Is that why you stabbed her to death and burned the evidence? Okubo-kun took the fall for all of it. You sent the good man to die! I never wanted to kill anyone. But it had to happen for 89. It was the only way to save all of them! The toxin is irremovable. Use of 89 will always result in death. Shono-kun told me as much. Countless human experiments led him to that conclusion. In other words, AD-9's development has failed. But Shonokun didn't want to admit that. He couldn't say that it was over, that he had killed several people, that it was all for naught. And when exactly did Shono-san tell you all this? Only the other day. It was after hearing that, that I decided to testify in this trial. Save the world. That's your bullshit excuse, huh? I don't buy it. The reason you murdered Emi-chan was so you could save your own skin. If you really cared about helping people, you would have left your research to someone else instead of resorting to murder. But 89 is my drug. I'm the only one who could have finished it. And now I'll finally prove it. Prove that all my research was worth the effort. Prove that I was right to do what I did. Wait! For the longest time, my mother cared for both of my dementia-ridden grandparents. Once the disease had finally mercifully taken them, my mother died too. So you see, Alzheimer's has taken many loved ones away, even from me. Mm -hmm. 
But now, it won't be taking anyone else ever again. My entire career as a researcher, all the time I spent developing AD9, every single minute of it has led to this moment. But I... Uh... But why? <laughs> so that's why... I finally understand. <laughs> when a patient is injected with AD-9, they experience intense pain localized to the head, and their eyes become filled with a dark blue pigment. In the end, it's a gruesome death. As for the eyes, the toxins present in AD-9 are what turns them blue. Shonokun admitted as much. Had that been noticed, it would have been clear proof of the experiments. And hence, every single corpse discovered in Kamarocho was found with the eyes removed. Shonokun disposed of them, all in an effort to hide the horrible truth of his failure. I can't thank you enough, Yagami-sensei. Next week, huh? That's soon. It'll be nice to be out after all these years. The, uh, the retrial for Emmy's case is coming up. Oh, well, that'll be more of a formality than anything. And don't worry. Nobody believes you killed Emmy-chan anymore. Right. <laughs> You're already taking off? Actually, uh... I brought someone else who wants to talk to you today. Huh? Fumia... Kung... You can take it from here. You're welcome to stick around, you know? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Thanks for this, Yagami-san. So Shono and Kuroiwa are both dead, huh? And Ichinose and Morita are behind bars. Thanks to Yagami's agency, yes. Things may be somewhat hectic from now on, though. The health ministry is in turmoil, as is the ADDC. Yes, the center will likely be shut down. In the end, I suppose things worked out for Kajihira. That's unacceptable. Well, you're in luck, Saori-kun. Sounds like they're investigating his collusion with Minister Kazumi. The police are already on the case. Everyone tries, but you can't escape the law. I suppose all bad deeds will come to light eventually. Yeah, you got that right. Oh, and speaking of... Yes? 
I'm no senile old fool. Your little fling is clear as day. Huh? I'll have none of that in my office. Is that clear? Oh. <laughs> I had no idea, sir. There's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> well, you kids are all the same. Never listen to an old fart like me. Though it's not like we're any better, huh? <laughs> Always ignoring our elders. Right? Old friend. mind you going back. I mean, back to being an attorney again. It's not like we got work coming in. Maybe I could find a job at another agency or something. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not gonna abandon our business like that, man. But this is your chance to be an upstanding citizen again. Come on, man. You know how much of a gaping shithole this city is. Only a dumbass would be a detective here. Well, thank you very much. Kaito sounds right, though, you know? I mean, just think about it. People would line up just to have you represent them. It shouldn't even be a question. You think so? Of course I think so. Kendo sensei would love to have you back at his office. And, um, I'm sure Matsugane-san would agree with him. Yep. She's right, man. Everything's led up to this point. It's like your story circling back around. There's this fancy French word. Uh, starts with a D. This is your... Your denouement? That's it! Would you two give it a rest? Huh? Uh, I quit. I'm not a lawyer anymore. I'm a detective. But funny enough, if I hadn't left Genda's, I never would have proven Okobo-kun innocent. Well, yes, I suppose that's true. Pretty damn ironic. It's been three years now since I abandoned the truth and left my job as a lawyer. But it turned out that decision led me straight to the truth I tried to run away from. Guess it goes to show, you never know where your choices will take you. It's destiny. That's what you guys were saying just now, right? So, no matter what decisions you might make, what comes after matters most. The real important takeaway from all this is to never give up. I guess. By the way. Hmm? What is it? I was just thinking about how I looked in that suit. I didn't really pull it off, did I? <sighs> yeah, I knew it. That settles it. I'm never wearing a suit again. No way, no how. Hey, you know. Now that's another plus of staying a detective. Seriously? Hello? Yagami Detective Agency. Huh? Your cat ran away and it still hasn't come home? What do you think this is, lady? A pet shop? Oh yeah? We'll do it. Ask her some more about the cat. But Yagami-kun... Chaco. And she's five? <sighs> Just send us a picture, yeah? All right, time to get some catnip at Don Quixote! Kaito-san. Hmm. This is our first job in a while. Now let's go find that lady's cat.